Hi, I'm Neil Wood. And once again, I want to share a story that I've used along the way because it ties in the video that I just shared about the importance of using stories and storytelling when you're on stage. I hosted a lot of seminars for financial advisors when I was a sales rep for an investment firm. Uh, I spoke at about 250 events. And one of the things I like to do when they bring their clients in for dinner or whatever, uh, I would say, uh, I'd ask this question, how many of you hope to live another 40 years? Or let's say 25 years. And most of the hands would go up except for the little gentleman in the front row who was 99. He was grateful to be there at the front table. And I'd ask them, how, where do you think the stock market will, will go? And where do you think prices will go? And of course, there was a little buzz around the room and I said, let's do a little quiz. How much was a stamp 25 years ago? And we get the feedback from the audience that compared to what the stamp was today. And I'd ask, how much was a gallon of gas? How much was a gallon of milk? How much was a dozen eggs? And we'd go on and on and on and do a comparison for where the prices were 25 years ago and where the prices are now. My favorite was to ask them how much was a bottle of water 25 years ago. We didn't have bottled water. And the last thing I always like to ask is how many of you paid more for your last car than your first house? And that always got a big uproar. So to talk about investing for long term, and getting through volatility and things like that, it drives a point home that prices will continue to go up and up and up over the next 25, 50, 100 years. And you better be planning for it. And you know, it just made it fun. It was a fun story to share with folks. It made it light and you know what? It, it always worked out successfully. So there's your another example of a story. I hope you can use it in your seminars. Have some fun with it. All the best to you, Neil Wood.